Bentornati and welcome back to Boulder Dances, which is my Twitch, my live uh, playthrough of Dwarf Fortress. Again, to remind you, really minimal editing, so this is very chill and slow, but I hope you will like it nonetheless. If you want to try and catch me live on Twitch, you can look for the Lissidus Onion or follow a link that I will totally not forget to add in the description of these videos. That said, enjoy the show. Getting tired, I like that, I like that. Little combat drill. Dabbling fighter, dabbling shield user, dabbling axe dwarf. Bim, doesn't, doesn't this fulfill the need for excitement? You're training with wooden weapons. You're now a dabbling spear dwarf. They're all training at the same time. You know what? I think it's because it's, it's the same column, in a sense. So this is staggered training. Go for add edit columns. Let's add another routine. Let's call it staggered training. Two. Done. Copy this onto this. And then. No, you are on this one. You instead are going to be on this one. Second one. Wait, didn't I copy? A. A. Because the thing is, it's supposed to be specific. It's an entirely different schedule. Like, stagger training for one squad. It's not stagger training for another squad. But they definitely got mixed up for some reason. Weird. Maybe if I reassign it. Now? View monthly schedule. Galena. You should not be training in the month of Galena. But for some reason you are. Okay, let's let's do this though. I'll patch you all off duty and unpause. These guys love doing their their moves. Their individual combat drills. Because they're still there. Even though I put both squads off duty. What if I cancel the current orders? They had no... Oh, somebody deposited armor in here. The Willow Shield. Okay, which leads me to believe that at least somebody understood that they shouldn't train anymore. They, they're just trained, like everybody's training. Somebody picked up that shield again. Ah, I think I read about this. There's kind of a loop. So if we have... If we have weapon um, storage anywhere, weapon and armor, They are not going to keep the stuff in there, which is very unfortunate. Like those armor stands and weapon racks should definitely take priority, I feel. I read about this, but what if I 
get in armor and say do not store any wooden armor in here. And if I go in weapons and I say don't store any wooden weapons in here. So there's no place for those weapons and armor here. Will you store them at the gym? Looks like they, they do. Looks like they do. Like this guy totally came in here and equipped both a weapon and armor from the armor stand just now. Bomb rack. They are though going away with the stuff. Okay. Deposited. Deposited again. Um, they, they are using... Okay, that's weird. They deposit the shield at the armor stand, and then they simply drop the weapon there, even though we have dolomite weapon racks that are part of the same thing. They are off duty though. Why do they keep coming in here? Guys. Stop. You're not even assigned to this barracks anymore. Okay? You're not assigned. This is not your barracks. They just love their combat drills. They love them. Okay, we completed the weapon racks and armor stands. Uh, we completed smelting hematite ore. Completed making four training axes and four training spears. And eight wooden shields. And forge iron elm anvils has been completed. This guy has become a planter. Let's put the rest of the furniture in here, even though it seems this is a little bit buggy at the moment. These guys keep having combat drills. Okay, look, the month has passed. Right? It's not the month of Galena anymore. I have to like take people out of the squads like entirely Also where are the other shields Sorry if this, like, it's probably incredibly boring to watch and hear, but kind of messing with stuff that that I, I, I thought I knew at least in the general sense. I, I thought I, I had a grasp of it, but probably something changed in the new version. Some mechanics are slightly different. Shields and bucklers.
Oh, I... This is one of... One that was both? Bo boat? No. It wasn't. It was a drop in here. Okay, okay, okay. So, you know what? We need to do things slightly differently. Sap. Training shields. Armor. Custom. No metal. No, wait. Go back to here. Uh, well, actually, let's do other materials. Wood. Core quality. Total quality. Usable armor. Not the unusable. Uh, shield. Wooden shields. They go in here. Then, in here. Training weapons. Weapons, custom, none. Wood. Core quality, total quality, usable. Weapon. Training weapons. Wooden training weapons. It's all the same stuff you're working on in your fort. Super helpful. I'm I'm glad about it. I'm really glad that we're struggling through this together, at the very least. Let's move some of these boulders away. Also, it doesn't look cool to train over boulders. It doesn't seem safe. Okay, now the training weapon is there. And all the shields are in there. And you know what? It's okay. Actually, I'm, I, I accept the fact that um, armor stands and uh, weapon racks aren't fully functional yet. I'm gonna do like this and have the stockpile in the center. Just a little bit nicer aesthetically did I click on a set well it doesn't matter uh Babok is still stuck in there doing the individual combat training this spear is abandoned the shame because it's a superior training spear I don't have a place for more uh, metal bars, for different... for metal bars of different materials that are not iron. So I'm gonna create a stockpile in here. Other metals. Bars and blocks, custom. Everything that uh, well, not everything, not stone and clay, not other materials, and not metal blocks necessarily. Or maybe, yes, metal blocks, uh, but not iron. Iron has a dedicated place for it. Uh, brew drink from plant completed. We're doing good on that side. Let's see, what what, what else is in here? Ah, uh, sheets. And a barrel. Because this stockpile is super filled up. Let me make sure I'm not overproducing stone pots. Empty food storage item, less than seven. Not satisfied, okay. We're not overproducing, but definitely at some point I had a lot more, probably because I had a lot more food. I think those were full of food. Huh. Alright. 
I need more just straight up um, storage space. I might want to use this area in here for storage too. Let's do something about it. Um, let's see. I I don't want the two things to touch. I don't I don't want to create loops in my fortress. It's a really minor thing, but it can have a perform performance impacts. So, what I don't want to do, I I, I don't want to touch this line. For example, I can use all of this. Or extra storage. Um, and it can be connected like so. No, wait. It doesn't have to touch the entirety of this. It's gotta be like this. I wanna go like total, total diagonal, maybe. And connect it. Wait, they don't have to touch each other. They can totally get up to here, though. What I need to do is remove this line. So this means they can even do this. No, they cannot. They can do this, though. Okay. That's a little bit more storage. Um, then I don't have a space defined for uh, sheets, but it can definitely be in here. There's a, a lot of empty space in here. Do, 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 do. Sheets. All. Let's also do coins while we're at it, even though we don't currently have any. Okay, so this way we should be able to totally free the trade depot from stuff, which is good from the point of view of not getting stuff stolen. And yeah, this training spear is totally abandoned here. Even though, oh, it's because we don't have a, wait. Why no bin? Should have a bin. Um, I mean, we always need more bins. Let's face it. You never have enough bins. I have a lot of leather, like a lot. Should be making leather stuff. Um, I have a lot of trousers. I made trousers. Let's make some other um, clothing article out of leather. Something that my people can use and also get a little bit of protection from. So let's make more... Maybe more cloaks. Hoods. Uh, boots, maybe. Uh, work orders. Make leather hoods. Make... 10 leather hoods. Then make... Let's start making a few backpacks that we can maybe use later on. Make um, 
I, sh I should have bought at least one, make seven backpacks. Make water skins. Make eye boots. Ten. I should use some of the leather. Okay, there's a little bit more space in here now. Let's extend this same stockpile in here. Like this. I've struck native platinum. Where? Oh, right here? This is native platinum? Oh boy. Mind this. Right now. <laughs> I will rebuild the wall there. If I have to. Are they here? Oh, it's early autumn, so this is our second caravan. We did not get the elves. Maybe we'll get them next uh, spring. Maybe. But yeah, caravan has arrived. The outpost liaison has arrived. Where are them? Ah, this is the outpost liaison. I remember them. Where's the caravan? Well, they are somewhere. They will find a way. They always do. Oh, wait. I don't have good wheelbarrows to sell. Dang it. I was too caught in the training stuff. By the way, are they still training? No, they stopped training, so now they understood they're off duty. Maybe they will store weapons in here at some point. Maybe. Uh, let's close this for now. Um, do I have good wheelbarrows to sell? I have a couple of superior wheelbarrows. One is not assigned currently. Let's create more wheelbarrows while we're at it. So this is assigned to... Actually, I should... I, th I, I, I think I said this um, in another episode. I should totally swap this guy for... Oh, well, now they're both talented. Th this guy's also our cook, so... I, I, I think... Uh, the Dwarf at the Wheel should definitely, um, you know... How's the right word? Um, delegate. Delegate, right? Like, he has the plans. He has the blueprints, or the bloopers depending on uh, who you ask. But there's this guy that's also a, talent ca a talented carpenter, and we should definitely use them. So, work orders. Make... seven wheelbarrows. Do it. Then, in here... we have rough gems. Um, this is to decorate, and this definitely accepts wheelbarrows. What we should do is to bring them manually in here through means, our means, our special means, tools, 
dump this and this. And then we have the option to review our diplomacy. Now, what I wish happened is that we could retain the same orders as last year. That would be great. Anyway, I would accept Leopard Jagu Jaguar and... What else is nice? You know what? I have a lot of leather at the moment, so... Whatever. Bring silk. Bring... Bring... Tower cap, black cap, nether cap, goblin cap, fungi wood, tunnel tube, spore wood, blood thorn. That. Bring... Gold, silver, copper, nickel, zinc, bronze, brass, Tin. Aluminum, those kind of kind of things. Uh, rose gold. Ammo truck components, legwork shields, toys, instruments. Bring the instruments. All of them. All the instruments. That's not really. Like my my meat and leather industry is is just about to take off. I'm almost there. Cheeses. No, I want the milks. Uh, extracts. Milk, 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 milk. All milk. Drink all the milk. Uh, fish. It's okay. Don't bother. Cages? Yes, I want the cages. Bread. Sun, glass, miscellaneous. Brutches, eggs, splints, tools, sheets. That's all right. You know what? Done. I don't want to waste any more time with this. You want... Headwear, you meant wheelbarrows, right? I I definitely think they meant wheelbarrows. Okay, with that going on. Um, I need to check if I have more uh, of these little uh, dumping zones orphaned around the place. Um, I have one garbage dump in here. No, only one at the moment. Okay. When you want to use this this method of dumping stuff in in, uh, in place to to move them, you gotta make sure that you know where you're dumping. Okay, the two wheelbarrows are in here, so I can start encrusting. Definitely. Uh, what do I want to use to encrust? So everything is an input. Which is good. What's the most... What's the most better? Ooh! Indigo Tourmaline is around 500, you say? Probably not true. But better than Praises and Quartz and Jasper. What about White Jades? Not great. Uh, so for now... Let's encrust with Indigo Tourmaline once, since we have one. Have the new task. Crust furniture with gems. Specify the gem. Indigo Tourmaline. Then, in here, what do we have? What's, what's good? We have more Indigo Tourmalines. What, what about the Blue Jades? Not great. What about Smoky Quartzes? Not great. Citrines? Eh. Jaspers? Not great. These aren't spectacularly great gems. 
But we have these two, so let's cut cut gems. Indigo tourmalines. Wait, we have red tourmalines? Should be good. Yeah, do do those on repeat for a while. Okay, indigo tourmalines on superior willow wheelbarrow. That's what I want to see. And you're making more wheelbarrows, right? Oh, great. This is an excellent one. Good. Bring bring it. Also this one. Bring it. Another excellent one. Bring it. That's the stuff. Okay, he's now cutting the red tourmalines. Um, this willow wheelbarrow is, is ready. Let's bring it. Let's sell it. Move goods. Tools. The will, the superiorly superior encrusted wheelbarrow. Do it. Our pride and joy. Aha, uh -huh. it's in here. Uh, broker requested. Go. Okay, it's in here. Let's trade. A thousand. Look at that. A thousand eighty-six for a single wheelbarrow. Amazing. Actually, let's get back and look at it before we sell it. This is a superior quality willow wheelbarrow. It is encircled with bands of superior quality round brilliant cut indigo tourmalines. The superiority is, is staggering. It's amazing. Okay, what do we want? I don't particularly need food or drink. I might want to get the gold because I cannot I can't have gold around here. So I can exchange this very expensive willow and gem wheelbarrow for two gold bars. And maybe something else. Um, the something else might be some nether cap and tunnel tube, which I may use to make even fancier, um, fancier wheelbarrows, because I think Oh no, it's six because I specifically asked for them, so that's why the value is so high. Because normally the value of wood would be three, I think. Okay, I can't add any big stuff in here because then they would refuse, but... Something small. Uh, can I get a copper cage? Can I have one copper cage? Something else that's really small, maybe milk? Can I have one milk barrel? Donkey leather bag? No. In the realm of cheap stuff. Really, you didn't bring any food at all. You have zero food in this caravan. Okay, I guess. Llama wool yarn? No, okay, I have to sell this as is. So, golden bars, a cage, some milk. But I mean, I mean, it's gold, right? It's gold. At some point, we might be able to uh, stud uh, wheelbarrows with gold, right? Trade. Urib seems pleased with the trading and stay there because more are coming. G give us, give us a few days, and you, and you'll see, you'll see. You know what? Let's. Okay, let's keep them like this, and I will then just reclaim the exceptional one. Do we have? 
Red tourmalines. Red tourmalines are pretty good. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. So, this is available. This is also available. Add a new task. Encrust finished goods. No, encrust furniture with cut gems. Which gem? Red tourmaline. Okay, so we should have another red tourmaline coming right up. And then we can encrust the two superior. Yes, once joined. Are we getting maybe, I mean, a, a masterwork would be amazing, wouldn't it? Okay, you, you made one that is just fine. It's okay. It's fine. Finely crafted. Actually, well crafted. Not even fine. But you got several superior and exceptional ones. Which is good. Okay, this, this one got a well done um, decoration. Superior decoration would have been better. TBH. Let's see the second. Oh boy. This is exceptionally... But how was the other one so good? Was it all because of those gems that were even better? Because this is exceptional Willow Wheelbarrow. Menaces with spikes of exceptionally worked red tourmaline. Probably the blue tourmaline or indigo tourmaline is, is worth even more. It must be it. It must be. Anyway, let's bring these two wheelbarrows in here. This. And the other one isn't currently available. Probably somebody is gonna do something with it. Been claimed for something. Gotta wait a second. Okay, it's available now. Bring both, please. Okay, we have both. Let's request the broker presence, the depot. And we got 1200 more in value here. Urib is already pleased with the trading. We want to try and get... Oh, these are, these are all pretty expensive, these instruments. Okay, there's a green glass cooling. I'm gonna grab that. And a nice green glass uker. Or uker. A sport tree nekak. Cool. And I think we have to get a zinc cage. Um, no, I mean, I'm debating whether a Keshan is better than a Gister, but this is a green glass Gister, not Keshan. So, no, I can't. Mm. Can't have it. Too much. Too much. Alright, let's take the cages then. And more milk. We have a really, really cheap bag.
No, I can't even have that. Okay. Let's trade. I got some instruments out of this. Pretty cool. Some cages. Ooh. Melville made a masterpiece capybara leather water skin. That's good. Uh, wheelbarrow 7 is completed. Merchants are unloading their goods. And it's all... it's all okay. It's all well and good. Everything is going fine. Make more bins. Another masterpiece. But this, this time a yak leather high boot. Somebody's gonna be very happy with their boots. Love to see that. Wow, this 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 guy is, is going Alright, oh, because he's legendary. I forgot about that. <laughs> this guy is a legendary leather worker. Yeah, it kinda makes sense that he would make such nice things. Uh, how are they worth? Just, you know. I mean, the exceptional ones are worth just 45. That's not not amazing, honestly. Uh, exceptional uh, Osprey leather high boot. Not exceptional again. Groundhog leg leather high boot. These are um, their masterworks. 40. The thing is, that's why I should definitely start uh, buying the... The high level leathers, which actually, now that I think about it, it's totally what I should do. Do I have time to make more of those things? Or do I want to cheese it? Cheese it and buy stuff with cheese. Let's cheese it. Um. Wait, I don't seem to have... Huh, do I, do I not have prepared food anymore? Maybe in barrels. I do have <laughs> some really pricey food barrels. Let's bring this and this. Okay. I mean, this is a lot, right? <laughs> So, do they have... Yeah, they have leopard leather. Which is probably gonna be better than... Than Groundhog. Gralta. Jaguar. Gralta. Giant Cave Swallow. Okay, let's get a Gralta leather bin. Jaguar leather. More Dralta. And Leopard. Because if, if we can make Masterwork stuff out of this, it's gonna be pretty, pretty nice, I think. And then we can, uh, at this point, maybe buy out the rest of the... of the nice in instruments. So let's have one of it, one of each. 
there's a bunch of per percussion instruments. The tangath, the gister, uh, stay, this one. Uh, I, I think the peach wood looks better than the glass keshan. These are expensive. Crystal glass, a tool. Uh, let's take a... Oof. A green glass rockel. Copper zalstom. Clear glass shadmal. I can't afford it. Let's let's see. Should I should I really want this? Can I remove something else? Maybe one of the percussion instruments, like the tangat. Yes, I could do this. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, we traded a bunch of stuff. Look at the freaking masterpieces! Huh. And this is it for this episode of my Twitch playthrough of Dwarf Fortress of the Fortress of Boulder Dances. If you want to try and catch me live, uh, you can go to Twitch and look for Listed Sonion or simply follow a link that I will totally not forget to add in the description of uh, these videos. That said, thank you so so much for watching and I hope to see you again in the next episode. Alla prossima!